Hi friends, thank you so much for coming back to craft with me today and welcome if you're new here to my channel. My name is Alyssa and today we're making this expandable accordion fold mini album. So the scoring is really easy, it's quick to put together and you get a nice little surprise on the inside. So I'm just going to take you through this one. I did use the pastel spring paper pad here by Park Lane. And I just got this at Joann's. Yes, I got another new paper pad. <laughs> Not that I needed one, but this one I just couldn't resist. And I feel like I say that with every new paper pad that Joann's comes out with. But look at the print here on this paper. It is so beautiful and springy. I love all the florals. There's some gold foiling as well. And so for my cover here, I just added this little tag that says made for you. My friend Jennifer gave me that in some happy mail. And then there is a top loading pocket here. So we'll start with that. And I just made this little card. It says my favorite things. And I added this flower sticker. And so you could write some of your favorite things on the back there. And we'll open it up and it's just like a regular album for now so i just put this little tag sheet over here for some writing space i left this blank over here because i just loved the print so much but you could also put photos on either side really and then i added this cute little sticker in the corner as well with the flowers inside of these rain boots and there's a cute little bird there too so it's just so springy and we'll flip this and this is where the little expandable part is of the album so a lot of fun things going on here but we'll just start over on this side so this here is a tuck spot so i've just got some little journaling cards this is a cut apart that says there's something beautiful in every day and then this here is also a tuck spot. So I just made this card with this beautiful rainbow sticker and it says dream big. It's very um, holographic. So yeah, <laughs> it's super pretty though. But I just added a little scrap strip down there and that would be a nice little journaling card or photo mat. So I stuck that one behind here. And these two in here. And then over here, I just paper clipped this tag. I washi taped this little journaling card. It says the time of my life, but then you can also flip it over. And it says choose joy over on the back. And then same thing over here. I just have another pocket slash tuck spot. So just some more little journaling cards and tags. That's another tuck spot. So I have a tag here and a sheet for writing. So perfect little spots to tuck in some journaling goodies or some ephemera, some stickers, photos even. So that's the expandable part. And you could even just like glue strips of paper together to create even more of an expansion if you wanted to but we'll just close this up. And these are our last few pages. Again, I just left one side blank and I glued another little journaling card here and put a butterfly at the top. And there's one last little top loading pocket. So I made this little journaling card as well. And of course you can flip that up. You could put a photo underneath or a journal right on this paper too. So that is everything for this fun little mini album and it's so quick and easy to make. It's really just the decorating that takes the longest of course. But let's go ahead and grab some paper and we can create one of these together. So I'm going to be using the same paper pad today, the pastel spring paper pad, just because I love it so much. So we're just gonna start off here with two sheets of 12 by six papers. And so you could use a 12 by 12 and just cut it in half, or for this one, I'm just gonna choose two different prints. So they're 12 inches across by six inches tall. 
And for both of these, we're just going to score at the 12 inch side at four and eight. So four and eight. And I'll grab my other sheet here and do the same thing. Four and eight. All right, so I'm just going to fold these first. And I think I want this print to be my front cover. So I'm just going to start with this one. So I'm just going to fold, there's a score line here, so I'm just going to fold that over. And then my last one here, I'm going to fold back. And so this becomes my front cover, and then you can do a top loading pocket here. And then it'll just open up like this. And... That's the blank side. And I pretty much want to fold my other 12 by 6 the opposite way. So I want to fold this part over. And this part I'm going to fold back. So I've got my two blank pieces here. And then this is where you can create a top loading pocket on your last page. So I'm just going to hold both of these like this with the blank sides facing me. And then we're going to grab the connecting piece, which is going to be a 12 by four and a half piece of paper. And you can really make this whatever height you want it to be but I wanted it to be a little smaller because it adds just some interest to the album. It's something different. So this here is 12 by four and a half. And for this one, we're just gonna hold it at the 12 inch side and we're gonna score at three, six, and nine. So three, six, and nine. So really easy, simple scores. And this is going to be the connecting piece where we create that expandable part. So I just want to bring my two covers back. And basically, this piece here is going to get glued onto my blank side, onto this panel. And then we're just going to kind of accordion fold the rest of this. Like so. So that we can then glue this piece onto our other panel here. So we can open that up and it's expandable. And again, you can just cut out another sheet of this size and just attach it to this one and make it really expandable. So that's totally up to you as well. So the first thing that I am going to do is just glue these two ends onto my blank sides here. So let me just do that. And when you go ahead and glue these down, you can really put it wherever you want to put it at the bottom in the middle, you can make it a tuck spot like how I'm going to do. You can do a side pocket, whatever you want to do. So you can even just glue this whole panel down completely and, you know, put a photo over top or something else, a journaling card. So I'm just going to be gluing this side and the bottom here because I do still want to create that tuck spot. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And then I'll attach this to this blank side. Oops. 
and just kind of make sure that everything is lined up, all these edges here. All right, and then this panel here, I'm gonna glue this edge and the bottom to create another tuck spot over here. And that's just going onto my blank side here. So again, just kind of line up all the edges. I think I got glue on my shirt. <laughs> and then kind of just close up the whole album too and make sure that your whole entire album is aligned as best that it can be. But that's gonna be the expandable part. And then you do have the option too to just leave this part open as well and have this be expandable. And then you could do something like this in the back and have that expand as well. Or you can obviously create your top loading pockets like how I'm gonna do. But before I go ahead and glue down these flaps, I already had an idea for the cover with this one. So I wanted to take this little frame that I had and put that on my cover but I want to like cut out a little hole just so you can see through it so I'm just going to place this where I want it to go and then I'm going to grab my pencil and kind of just outline the inside part here super roughly <laughs> and then I'm going to just cut out this shape a little bit outside of the edges here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and hopefully I don't mess this up. <laughs> and this part doesn't even have to be perfect if you also wanna do something like this and you don't have a die cutting machine. <laughs> so I'm just going to roughly cut this out. Okay, and then I'll bring back my little piece here. And just make sure I'll probably have to cut it a little bit more. Okay, bring this back. Okay, so this should be good. And I'm just gonna glue this now over top. So I'm just gonna go around the edge of my shape here. And plop this right over top. <laughs> All right, so now I've got myself a little window and I'm just gonna go ahead and close this up to create my top loading pocket.
All right, so there's the first part of it, the middle, and our last page. And I am going to close this one up too for my last back pocket. All right, and that is the album all constructed. So now we can go ahead and just decorate this some more and fill it up. And I'm going to just grab this scrap paper from the paper pad and hope that it fits in here. <laughs> so how cute is that? Just poking through the window there. I love it. And I think I want to just add a little sentiment. Maybe I'll stick it right here. That says grateful. So I'm going to just, I guess I'll just glue it on. I was going to foam tape it, but I don't want it to be too bulky. So I'll just stick it right here. So that way that will show through the little frame. I think that's so cute. I'm probably not even going to do anything else to this card because it's so pretty with all the prints already. You could journal on the back or add a photo. I think I will add a little butterfly right here maybe with some foam tape. There's already lots of pretty flowers in the background, so why not add a butterfly there? And I think that's all I'm going to do to the cover. And let's see what I want to do on the inside. Just to be super quick, I'm going to take this cut apart from the paper pad. Love the little birds in the corner there. And... This one, I'm just going to washi tape over here. Like that. I'm going to just leave one side blank again, just in case I want to add photos or something. But let's just move on to the expandable part here. So if you are using single-sided paper like I am, what I did was I just grabbed a little scrap strip to create my pockets here at the bottom. So I'm going to just cut down this piece to four inches and then another one that's four inches because that's the width here of my page. So this piece, I'm just going to glue down here as another little pocket. So I just glue the side and the bottom and I leave this side open. And I'll stick that here. And then I will do the same thing over here and just glue down this side and the bottom. And again, you totally don't have to do this part. You could just put some ribbon or trim like at the top and the bottom here or decorate it however you want to do it. But this way there's more fun pockets <laughs> and I'm going to let those dry, but I do just want to put things onto these two panels. So you could even put smaller photos on these. And I'm not even covering up 
the backs of them either, but you have that space too in case you want to put something back there. So I'm just going to glue down this beautiful moment little journaling card that I had. And I think I'll washi tape this one over here. I'm going to put it on this side. And I'll do something like that. So you can still flip this and you could even write here. You could put a smaller photo on this side underneath. So there's that. And then over here, I have gone ahead and picked out a few things that I might want to use. This says, thinking of you today. This was from the paper pad. So just some fun little journaling goodies. I mean, I really only need one, but we'll just stick both of those in there. And then I created this little card here with a beautiful flower sticker. And I'm going to put that into this um, tuck spot, which I didn't realize these are the same print, but that's okay. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I don't know, maybe I'll just leave this one in here because there's already a lot of pink going on. And then... Over on this side here, I have just this little card that I put together, which this was from the paper pad, this cute little bunny here. And I'll stick that here. And I know like Easter is over, but I still love bunnies and they remind me of spring just in general. So I'm still using bunny stuff here. And I have this Project Life journaling card and then just this extra scrap as well from the paper pad. It says special day <laughs> and I have this butterfly here. So we can have those sticking out, but it just really comes together once you start decorating and filling up your pockets. And it's so cute. You could even decorate these pockets more. But I'm just going to quickly move on to the last few pages here. And again, I'm just going to grab another cut apart. And I'll probably just glue this one straight on. Maybe I'll put it on this side. and leave room for a nice little photo there. Or I did create this to go inside of my top loading pocket here. And it's kind of just like a little notepad. I just put a few sheets on it, but I think what I'll do is I'll just stick this part of it in here. And then I can have the top flap just resting over top of that page so you could do something like that too and you won't even have to decorate this page you could probably just put a photo or a little sentiment so that you could surprise somebody when they flip that open but i think that's going to just complete my album for today so i love how this one came out too this paper pad is just amazing to me <laughs> so i hope that you all have enjoyed this tutorial i really like my little window here and i like that you can see the grateful sentiment through the window there so i'm happy with how this one came out so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more crafty fun and inspiration and leave me a comment down below. I would love to say hi to you, and I love hearing from all of you, 
So thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Happy crafting and huge hugs.